Hi rock painting friends and welcome to rock painting workshops. Um, today we're going to paint a little bunny that's kind of doing a little bit of a dance. So the first thing when we're sketching on the rocks is I like to draw in a vertical line for each shape that I'm drawing and here I'm drawing the head so I want to make sure that the left hand side and the right hand side kind of match in size. So popping that vertical line in always helps and because the body's at a different angle I'm drawing in a different vertical line for it. And I'm just sort of matching off as I said that both sides match makes it easy to draw and just popping in his legs and small areas I don't worry that there's you know the shape of the rock I just work with it so I'm not worried that one of his feet won't be seen but here I'm just using a regular uh, HB mechanical pencil so this is just all the shapes you can see there's circles half circles ovals that I'm using and I draw again that vertical line up in the middle and then I can draw the ear around it just looking that the left side matches the right side and on this side we're not going to quite fit in that ear it might just sort of look like it's folding over or something so I'm just making my design work with the rock here just pop the nose it's not quite in the middle big smile on the bunny and just some little eyes in there popping in the whiskers and this is going to be my easy bunny that we're going to do today just use some simple colors first thing I'll do is pick up my fine liner Posca I like using the 1M the 1MR pen to do this I'll just get it working it's always easier to use these pens at a slight angle which is really hard to do when you've got a camera that's coming down at this angle so as you can see, all you can see is my hand in the, the photo, but I'll try and show you as much as I can. And I'm just tracing around all the outlines. Now this is not my final line. I like to call this my colouring in line. Like when you get a colouring in book, children's colouring in book. I'm just creating my blank canvas and my black outline, just so I know where I'm going to take my paint. And that's for a lot of people that aren't confident just to paint straight on the rock as they go. You don't need the finer details really in here, but I'm just gonna pop the, the face. I'll just leave the whiskers out of it for now. So there we have our coloring in bunny. Okay. What we're gonna do now that the, I've let the Posca pen dry and you might have a different brand of pens, that's okay. But I've let that completely dry and I'm just taking a, a regular polymer eraser and it just lifts up all the graphite pencil off the rock. You can see the black on the eraser. That's the graphite pencil that I've lifted up onto the eraser. I'll just brush away all the dirty bits and then we are ready to start. We've got our coloured in, our colouring in page bunny and we'll just add the color. So I'm gonna work with one base color on this and I'm going to use uh, a light purple, light lilac color. And I'm going to go straight over and do one really nice layer over the whole rock. I'm not worried at this point uh, not to cover up the features that I put in. I just put that in beforehand to give me a gauge of where I want to put everything just the spacing ratio and where it would go I'm also uh, this rock is quite a, a flat shiny surface so it's not very porous at all so the paint is literally sitting on top of the rock and when you have a rock like that where it doesn't soak in on the first layer you have to be careful you don't smudge it but you just need to give it just a little touch longer to dry don't keep going thicker and thicker because it's going to look a little bit uneven as you're coloring it and that's okay you just want to leave that as your first layer down on the rock we'll come in and fix that later with a second layer of, of color and I'm just going straight over the eyes sometimes they shine through but acrylic paint 
is made to be opaque so it will cover up colors underneath it and the paint pens that we're using are acrylic paint I'm using uh, Posca and I also use the Tuli Art and Artistry pens they're all pretty good and here I'm just taking my second contrast color and I'll pop him in a purple nose there And on this one, I'm just going to show you just a little bit of shading to add interest. And see, I'm just adding a little touch of um, paint, the paint pen. And I'm taking my brush and I'm just giving that a little smush around. Now, what's important with the brush is I've dipped it in some water and I've wiped it across my cloth to get any excess water off. So it's a damp brush, but it's certainly not wet just adding a little bit more paint and while the paint is wet again I'm taking my brush and just giving that a bit of a smush around you can see how small the little dots of paint are that I'm putting on and if you're not using paint pens you can do exactly the same thing what we're doing with your acrylic paint okay you can just use a brush brush in the base color and let that dry and then just dot little dots of acrylic paint on and smush them around with the paintbrush that we've done exactly the same there's no difference so I'm going back to my Posca 1MR and I'm just going to start adding in the details just going to put the face details in first to let them dry and now we're just going to go around all the outer shapes I also don't worry too much if I get the outline a little bit wrong at the end of the day these are what I'm creating is drop rocks so I like to share them out uh, in the community for, for others to to find and they're certainly not there going oh my goodness that outlines a little bit crooked so don't stress too much about things like that I'm just going to outline so you can see the beginning when I did the outlines, that was just to guide my painting, show me where to go. Now I'm just putting the top layer of pen on top, which is my final outline. And you can see how easy the, the pen's flowing and that's because it's got a nice clean tip. Let's give it a little bit of a squiggle there, decoration. Yeah, we're nearly done. Nearly forgot the whiskers. I pop the whiskers on last. They sit on top and they can go over the image. Then I'm going to take my white pen and just pop in a couple of highlights. Wherever you think that the light is shining down on your bunny, just adds a couple of points of interest to him or her. I'm just adding that with my white pen. yeah and there you go bunny is done so that was pretty simple come and join us in our facebook group and share the rocks you created we're at reef rocks free workshops on facebook